So I was coloring my hair and I was doing ombres and I was bleaching it and I was doing balayages and I was doing global hair colors and I was doing all sorts. And the main crux of the matter is so much bleach and coupled with that so much straightening, so much curling, so much back combing, so much teasing, so much hairspray. All of these things definitely started damaging my hair slowly, slowly with time. And I guess I reached this point where I was straightening my hair so much that literally before going out of the house, no matter what happened, I'd always need like a few hours because I started becoming addicted to the process of uh, shampooing my hair, conditioning my hair, drying my hair, blow drying my hair, then straightening my hair and then either curling my hair or just leaving it like poker straight and then walking out the door. And slowly, slowly, slowly my hair started getting severely damaged and after a point my hair just looked like a frizz ball, okay? It looked really big and it looked really frizzy and it didn't have any shape to it. It got to a point where even if I wanted to wear it natural, that was completely out of the question because it did not look presentable in the least. At this point I thought, hey, if it's looking this bad and I absolutely cannot wear it out in its natural state, then wouldn't it be easier rather than me planning to go out? I thought to myself, wouldn't it be much easier to do something like this and I remember this was like my tipping point so my husband but at that point he was my boyfriend so I took his friend to the hairdressers and uh, he wanted to get his hair like uh, colored gray and I wanted to get like a funky haircut so I wanted like my hair really short at the back and I wanted like really long in front so yeah I went to the hairdresser and I told her that hey listen while he was getting his hair colored and everything i was like hey listen uh, do you think it'd be a good idea can i do like keratin or can i do smoothening or something like that and she straight up started laughing at me like it was it was not cute trust me it was not cute um and i was so embarrassed she straight up just started laughing at me and she was like your hair what hair you have no hair left this is just like burnt strands of hair on your hair if i try to do anything to it it would just break off and you have nothing left so uh and it's fine yes maybe i needed to hear it that's okay but the fact that she said all of this to me in front of my boyfriend's friend at that point i mean this is this is not even my friend this is my boyfriend's friend who is a guy it was so embarrassing and it was so upsetting and i guess that's the first time i came home and i really started thinking about it that hey have i damaged my hair so much that you know like uh, that i can't save it at all and i'm past this point of it ever looking good or you know is it that my only option right now is to like go bald and grow my hair out again so i think that's the first time i really started thinking about it i started thinking about what i had done to my hair very consciously and i started um, mulling over it and started thinking hey maybe i should take it easy with a straightener maybe i shouldn't straighten that much and at that point i think i had started washing my hair twice a week before this i used to pretty much wash my hair every day or every second day i started going longer periods so i was like i'll straighten my hair and then after that this should last for like three four days and i'm not gonna touch it with a straightener because to me i thought that um straightening once or twice a week isn't as bad as straightening every single day because guys i was straightening my hair at 240 degrees okay i was pretty much charring my hair like when i used to run the straightener through my hair i could see that steam okay and i could smell that burnt hair so yeah i got it i realized that what she said to me was pretty uh, accurate not that this isn't the same hair i mean all of this is burnt hair whatever i've grown since cgm is probably like up here but the rest all of this is still burnt hair and yes it is damaged and yes you can't repair damage the only way you can repair damage is by cutting it but I mean I think I've done a great job and it doesn't look damaged and it doesn't look burnt or anything you can definitely change the appearance of your hair so I wish
wish she had told me that and I wish she had spoken to me about CGM or spoken to me and tried to explain that, you know, hey, listen, you don't need to use heat. There are other ways to manipulate your hair to make it look really nice. But then I guess her go-to was embarrassing me. So, I mean, that's, that's fine, okay? Maybe I had to hear it and maybe I wouldn't have gone down this path without her embarrassing me publicly. So everything happens for a reason it's okay i do not resent her for it at all in fact that was like a learning moment for me that's the first time i realized that hey listen i think i'm doing something wrong here and i think i need to start thinking of corrective measures also at this point i noticed that every time i went to a beach and the moment salt water like sea water hit my hair I was not wearing it straight and my hair had this natural wave to it and my friends and stuff we used to call it like my Goa hair okay so if you remember back in the day uh, salt texturizing sprays were a thing on YouTube and every time you wanted body or, or texture in your hair YouTubers would go in with like salt water spray so at that point and every time I will throw up so many pictures here every time I went to a beach and salt water touched my hair my hair formed this wave and I did not think that this was my natural hair I always thought that this is like my Goa hair this is my beach hair these are my beach waves and I loved I loved I absolutely loved my hair that way every time I went to a beach I never straightened it or curled it or did anything I just wore it naturally and I absolutely loved that look. Another thing, when my hair started looking like a bush, right, because it was all burnt and all damaged and stuff, I also had an iron deficiency and so my hair used to fall quite a bit. And at that point, I did nothing to correct my hair fall. I used to always think that, hey, my hair looks so bushy because I had so much hair on my head and maybe if my hair falls, then it'll thin out and then my hair would look nice and neat and tame and stuff. I don't know what I was thinking, but that is how I felt. And so I did absolutely nothing to rectify the hair fall that I was having. And then once I started CGM, that's the first time I realized that, okay, that this hair fall was unnatural. Back then I had hair everywhere. I had hair on my floor. I had hair on my pillowcase. Every time I combed my hair, I lost so much hair. This is the first time. In fact, a lot of people will say that, hey, I started losing hair after I started CGM. I guess the opposite happened for me. When I started CGM, that is when I realized that I was losing no hair. The only hair that I was losing was in the shower when I was detangling. So anyway, all of this happened. The hairdresser absolutely embarrassed me in front of my boyfriend's friend at that point. I was really upset. I was preoccupied about this. And of course, days went on. I started reducing the amount that I straightened my hair. I started reducing the amount that I was curling my hair. And one day my friend came over, her name is Nimisha and she, she lives in Bangalore and she came over and we were getting ready to go out for dinner. So of course I shampooed my hair and then of course my hair was drying and I was waiting for it to dry and then I was gonna straighten it. And at that point she told me that, hey Michelle, you know, I think you have curly hair. So I was like, yeah, that's suspicious. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you saying? That's weird. Um, but she was like, yeah, listen, Jay Shetty, you must have heard of Jay Shetty, right? So his, his wife, you should check her out. She's doing this thing called CGM. And you know, like a lot of girls don't know that their hair is like curly, but I see like these waves in your hair and I feel like maybe your hair is curly and you should check out the curly girl method. So, I mean, it was intriguing. I, of course, did not believe what she said because at that point I was like, ha, huh, if only. Okay, so, um, Dil Chata Hai, Preeti Zinta's hair in Dil Chata Hai. Oh my goodness, I was obsessed with her hair, okay? I loved her hair. If there was a possibility that I could have textured my hair, I would have full on, you know, like embraced it, okay? The simple fact is, I obviously did not know that I had curly hair. So yeah, uh, she told me look into the curly girl method and this and that and I was really intrigued and I was like, hey, if this is possible for my hair, why not? And so I started looking at different videos. I started coming across different girls doing CGM. I started coming across videos like these in particular that said in the title that I did not know my hair was curly or I did not know that my hair was wavy. And I thought to myself, yeah, okay, fine. All right, so 
maybe there's a possibility and also in these videos i heard that um the hair follicle the the follicle of the hair is differently shaped and i also heard that you know hormonal changes can change the texture of your hair over time and in a video i also heard somebody say that hair texture changes every decade or so and so i started thinking i started reminiscing i started thinking about okay so i had beach hair and i had beach waves so maybe maybe this is possible maybe this is a thing and the more i watched youtube content the more i realized that hey maybe i could have curly hair and why not try it so of course i did a lot of research i saw a lot of girls doing these videos where the title was i tried the curly girl method for one month so i saw their hair before their curly hair transition and after and the possibilities of what it could look like and i thought to myself that okay you know like i was intrigued before but now maybe i'm invested like just a little bit so let me check this out and let me really start doing some research because maybe i could try to do this the first time i tried cgm i made a lot of mistakes so i was using very little product i was trying to finger detangle i've spoken about this right in different videos so um yeah i started the curly girl method and in one week my hair was so sticky and it was so heavy because look i was used to my hair feeling very very light and very very fluffy and yes of course i was using a dime size amount of product but at that point with my hair being really dirty and me not using enough shampoo and everything so my hair was anyway greasy and dirty and even that dime size amount was enough to build up on my hair and make me feel extremely disgusting and extremely gross and i had migraines and my head was my head was disgusting it was like one greasy mess of frizz and i was like yeah this is not for me I started developing horrible migraines and I don't know how long I wore my hair maybe like 3 4 days and then I quit and I was like no nope, this is not for me I started straightening my hair again and I was like oh, I have these products and at that point lockdown had started I might as well give it like another try and let's see what happens the second time around I decided that I'm not going to play by the rules I'm going to modify I'm not going to do everything by the book and I'm just going to sort of have fun with it and everything and let's see what comes of it. And of course at this point I was watching a lot of content. At that point I thought that hey yeah I'll try this out but as soon as lockdown is over I'll go back to my straight hair because at this point I'm not doing anything I'm just at home. So might as well experiment because if there's a transition might as well try to see what happens in my transition period as long as I'm at home. Nobody is seeing me like this. Nobody is seeing my hair all messed up and crazy like this. And so it's like what's the worst that can happen? And the longer we were in lockdown, the longer we were at home stuck. I started watching more content, I started doing more research, and I feel like a CGM, a modified CGM in my case because I don't follow all of the rules. Um I think it's like joining like a sorority, okay? The harder the initiation, the more invested you get. And slowly 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 when I started seeing that my hair is looking nice, curl training is happening, uh, things are going my way my hair is actually starting to look like half decent and nice that is when so i never planned to commit i never planned to commit to cgm never 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 i was just like let me just try this out what's the worst that could happen but the more difficult that it was and the more time it took me and the more my journey so the harder my journey got the more i wanted to fight the more i wanted to stick with it so at that point i thought that yeah of course i'll straighten my hair i'll straighten my hair whenever i want but um it's been a year and i haven't straightened my hair i haven't done anything to my hair i have not manipulated my hair with heat or anything i haven't diffused that much either i haven't refreshed my hair as much either look refreshing is fine but you have to understand my starting point was my hair being burnt to a crisp and so it was either losing all of my hair and it falling off or me going bald or me doing something healthy to completely change and turn around my hair 
look all of this this is all damaged hair like none of it is gone from my head i did like chops i wouldn't call them big chops i chopped off like uh, the first time i cut my hair i cut like maybe i don't know 6 7 inches and the second time i cut my hair again i cut like 6 7 inches so i guess i cut quite a bit of my hair and my hair was pretty long to begin with but most of the length of my hair right now is still damaged and it's still burnt and very honestly the fact that i can get my hair to look like this is nothing short of like some magic or some massive sorcery okay it takes a lot to get my hair to look like this but i don't regret it i absolutely love it i slowly slowly fell in love with my journey i started falling in love with my hair and i started saying that hey yeah of course i'm going to break all of the rules i'm going to color my hair i'm going to straighten my hair i want to do whatever i want this is just like a like, like a little experiment that i will go on but the more i got into it the more i committed to it the better my hair looked the more i wanted to stick with it and the fact that my hair looked so bad when i started and the fact that slowly 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 you know there were rapid changes happening visual changes that i could actually see i started loving my journey i started enjoying my journey and on month 6 i noticed that there are a lot of curly girls in india but there were no wavy girls in india i felt like it would be really nice if i saw someone with my hair texture on youtube or i wish i had some content and anyway the curly girls that i appreciated watching myself were people that i could identify with so i never identified with people with like perfect hair i always identified with people who did not strive for perfection I used to enjoy curly girls who didn't have the perfect hair and didn't have, you know, hair that made me feel bad about myself or made me feel like oh I'll never achieve that. I always watched creators who were relatable. I'm going to leave some links down below. Please check them out. Sierra Schultze. Oh my goodness. If it wasn't for this creator, I don't think I would have ever started CGM India Batson. Again, does not strive for perfection. She is just She is just a role model to show you that hey you don't have to straighten your hair to be pretty i mean such a pretty girl another girl uh, taylor leos laos i don't know how you pronounce that i'll leave her name down in the description so yeah these three girls i watch them and i realize that yeah they don't strive for like perfect hair and perfect curls and perfect anything but there was that beauty in that imperfection there was that beauty in that textured hair that was not perfect there was that beauty in hair in their hair because it it didn't look perfect but it still looked perfect and i really enjoyed that and i thought to myself yeah okay i'm in transition but i've done a lot of research on curly hair and it would be nice to see someone like me on youtube like someone with wavy hair on youtube from india and so i thought let me make this channel and what better way for me to stick with it than to start this channel because if it wasn't for this channel i wouldn't have tried any of the products that i've tried today i guess i wouldn't have known as much as i know today because having this channel really pushed me to sort of do better and research more and learn more and try different brands and try all of these different things and constantly experiment with my hair because before i started youtube i don't think i experimented that much at all i used to use the same products all the time and i was happy with it because they were showing results my hair was looking good all of it was great so i think what to yeah for the first 6 months of my journey i used the same products not to say that they were bad at all i absolutely loved my results and my hair kept getting better So yeah, um I'll put up some pictures of course of what my hair looked like on month 1, month 2, month 3. and whatever happened month 6 onwards is all on youtube i'm going to put something up here and you will understand how far i've come from then do you guys remember my very first hair routine video do you remember what my hair looked like then and cut to what it looks like now 
I mean, I'm so happy with my journey. I'm so happy that I came to know about CGM and I started doing it because very, very honestly, I have never felt so happy about wearing like my natural hair and my natural curls. And um, I'm really glad that I did this. So yeah, I definitely did not know that my hair was curly. I owe Nimisha so much for actually telling me that, hey, your hair might be curly because that's what started all of this in the first place. So yeah, that is it. <laughs> that is my curly hair journey. So long story short, I don't know, have I been able to make this video short? The point is, that is how it went. And um, I'm really happy that I embraced my hair. I had no idea that my hair could look like this. So even if you have like the slightest doubt, I would say just go for it because you never know the results and what could happen. The resultant of you trying this method could be like life changing. It could be revolutionary. It could be absolutely fantastic. So yeah, even if you have like the slightest doubt that you might have curly hair, I would say just go for it, okay? Because you never know, maybe you'll be super surprised. So yep, <laughs> that was it. That was this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, say hi in the comments down below. You know, I love talking to you guys in the comments. In fact, I've made so many friends. Some of you, I legit feel like I know you, okay? And I feel like, you know, we're sisters, right? Because I feel like I made friends. But the rest of you, don't be so shy. Come and say hi to me in the comments and introduce yourself. That'd be really nice. So yeah, how long have you been doing CGM? Did you just start? Did you start ages ago? I want to know. All right, so that was it. Like, subscribe, share, do all of that, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.